What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. Today I'm updating you on my TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim trading bot for August of 2020. I'm gonna be going over how much money it made, the trades that it made, and some improvements that we can make to the bot. So in my previous video, actually a couple previous videos, I made a TD Thinkorswim trading bot through uh, using the NinjaTrader platform, okay? So NinjaTrader allows people to build strategies for different brokerages, okay? In that example, I showed you how to connect it to TD Ameritrade uh, and their platform. So let's dive into it. Let's see how much money it made. Um, if you're not sure how the strategy works, be sure to check out my previous video where I actually build the bot and talk about the strategy. Um, but anyways, let's go over how much money it made, the returns it made, and the trades it made. Let's get started. Okay, so here are the results. I ran the strategy specifically trading Apple stock and it made $384.90 in profit. This was trading five shares at a time and overall relative to my account, it, that would have been probably about 2% since my account is uh, reaching the upper end of 20K. Um, so it's definitely a small amount percentage wise but it's really cool to diversify into stocks because as you know, I mostly trade futures with my trading bots and I do wanna move into stocks a bit more because they are easily scalable. So let's go over how it works again. Um, I'm gonna click chart here. Once again, this is the NinjaTrader platform and I'll give you some example trades that it made. Um, so let's find the first one. Um, here we go. So this was a gap reversal strategy. So at the beginning of the day, um, we would check to see if there was a gap. Okay. So in this example here, I'll zoom in. Once again, it traded on Apple stock only. We saw that there was a gap here. Okay. And I had a rule where I had a parameters where uh, the volume had to be a the volume had to be above 30,000 shares and a gap of at least $5, which is kind of low. But basically this green line would draw, which mean that would be the difference of the gap. And when Apple re reached that price, it would actually buy on the next candle, okay? So after it bought, um, we would set a, a trailing stop. And so far the best parameters that I found were to be about 90 cents, meaning if um, Apple suddenly dropped or moved 90 cents, sorry, if Apple suddenly dropped at 90 cents, it would sell. Okay, so in this trade here, it bought at 434. I'll we'll zoom out, let's follow it to the end. It held for a couple days. Actually, it held for a while. Where did it sell? Yeah, this was a long one. So it had a trail stop here, sold at 448 for about a five uh, dollar per share profit. Okay. Next trade, um, we re entered because we did gap down. Okay. And we wanted to fill this gap. So we we're going to buy, but because we we're in a previous trade, it didn't, um, and immediately bought right after, which could be an optimization, um, and set a trailing stop and just Apple went down that day, uh, all the way down to 45, uh, 445. So, uh, lost about $3 per share. Um, so, that was that then we go over and then the, then the next day that it could buy would be august 10th we saw a gap up um and we wanted to fill that gap so we're waiting that to fill and then we immediately bought at 444 set our trailing stop of 90 cents and although apple did go up because we were in a trailing stop it didn't really take advantage of it that's you know the pros and cons of trailing stop is you could be up for a while but if it doesn't drop far enough uh, you could take um, you know, a small loss. In this case, we did at 443. Um, then made another trade on, what day was this? This was August 11th. Took another trade and we saw a nice, nice, nice move from Apple here. You can see, you know, so bought 443, nice move. Held for multiple days. It is a swing trading bot, I mean, um, nothing wrong with that and sold at 445. So decent win on that day. And then, uh, I mean, I'll go, I guess I'll go trade by trade. I don't know if you guys are interested in every trade. I know it gets a little bit boring, Bought again at 454, um, this one held for a while too. I, I honestly just checked it every once in a while, but generally it was always in a trade, um, and sold at 506. So that was another big win as well. Um, I did stop the bot on August, I think it was 30th, right before the split, um, just because 
well i wanted to run it for august i i honestly forgot there was 31 days in august so it would have been interesting to see after that split um what would happen but uh I think the split was the 31st, correct? Let me know in the comments below when the split was, but I know I stopped at August 30th. Uh, so I bought it for 499. Um, that was the next trade. Trailing stop at 500, so you know less than a dollar profit per share. Um, but yeah, basically that's how it worked. Every new market day, we would check for the gap and basically buy at that gap level, pretty much at the previous close. And if if it gapped down, it would immediately buy to fill that gap. Um, so some some um i'll show you the analysis too so every trade was pretty decent we had a couple losing trades um i mean overall we did really well i mean our biggest losing trade was only ten dollars and fifty cents where our biggest winning trade was 276. obviously this is only for one month so would this you know if we you know t went back to corona times uh this would probably do very bad because it only goes long um so um it'd be interesting to see but Overall, I think it's a really great strategy to have. Um, and I know, you know, I said in the previous video, I'm gonna run it for the month of August and show you the results. So here they are. Um, am I gonna be including it into my portfolio? I think so. I mean, it's doing pretty well. The problem is I have a lot of my capital in other strategies, so I can't, I can't, you know, trade with a lot of capital. Like I said, I was only trading five shares. So, um, you know, back then before the split, pre-split, uh, I was around $400. So I was trading about $2,000 per trade. Um, so this is pretty decent, but overall from a percentage return, like I said, uh, this would, you know, be less, I would say, I guess, 2% um, of my total account. So um, not great returns, but I mean, 2% a month is decent. Um, only ran it for a month. That's not enough time to, to, think, to see if this strategy is good. You know, generally you want to see a year of two years of straight data with this strategy. Um, I will be adding it to my portfolio in the future for sure. I just, I have a lot of capital allocated with my futures trading bot which does you know a little bit better for sure so um i need more capital to add this portfolio uh to make it worthwhile but um here's the results guys of my td ameritrade thinker swim trading bot um once again made 384 dollars trading five shares of apple pre-split um let me know in the comments below what you think of this strategy um i think it's pretty good not gonna lie um some suggestions some improvements to this bot could be a it only goes long right now um obviously with great companies like apple microsoft um fang stocks anything in the sp 500 you generally only want to go long it's really hard to short those companies on a consistent basis and make consistent profits uh 70 80 percent of the time you'll make more money by going long so um i would like to try try this with other uncorrelated assets so keep this with apple maybe some fang stocks but then try it with the vix which is the volatility index um try it with some etfs for say gold oil uh maybe go short on those or or switch it you know optimize it so maybe sometimes go long sometimes go short depending on the market um there's lots of possibilities with this and i wouldn't get too excited just because it's profitable for a month don't get too excited i'm not excited i mean it's great that it made money but um, it's only for one month, you know, can this test the time of a year or two years? Um, I'm not sure my future strategies have been running since March and been pretty profitable. So I'm definitely more confident with those. Um, and I would like to spend more time on this, but like I said, I, I do need more capital to allocate, to run this strategy on a consistent basis. So overall, here's the results guys. Um, sorry for, you know, I said that like months ago, I was going to make the video and I did, I just never got around to actually uploading it. Um, and you know recording the results so um here you guys go those were the results let me know in the comments below uh if you like the strategy would you use the strategy should i make this strategy for other brokerages like maybe interactive brokers Robinhood, webull let me know and maybe i'll make a video on it um so yeah anyways hope you guys like this video hope you found value and i will see you next week guys bye